for millennia, mankind has wondered, what is the best video game ever made? I, Thomas Magdalene, have decided to find out. This is the crusade for the best video game ever made. Well, it's that time again. Time for another review. Now I bet you're thinking, what's up with the hat? Well, that's because my hair looks like shit today. Moving on, today we are going to be reviewing Uncharted Drake's Fortune. A game that actually had competent developers, unlike Verdun. God, I hate that game. As I explored every area this game had to offer, I was amazed by the amount of detail Naughty Dog put everywhere. These environments are just so well made. It's really sad that most players aren't even going to look around and take in all the hard work they did. However, I feel like the full potential of the art direction has not been fully realize simply because this game was made in 2007. Uncharted 1 really reeks of early 7th generation graphics. They were really attempting to show off the new hardware, but they're not really quite there with harnessing the full power. So you don't get fully entirely breathtaking beauty. I mean, there is breathtaking beauty, but there's something missing about it. But you do get the charm of early 7th generation graphics. I'm not really that impressed in this category. I feel like a lot of music is ambient, and it doesn't really seem that memorable to me. At least while I was playing the game, I guess the title menu music was pretty decent, but who spends all their time in the title menu anyway? I do think the sound effects for everything sound like a jungle and all that, but the overall soundtrack isn't that amazing. But the thing is, I don't think it needs to be, so this isn't really that big of a deal breaker at all. Marvelous job here by Naughty Dog. I don't think I could have done a better job myself. In this game, you are Nathan Drake, an explorer, and you are on an island looking for the treasure of El Dorado. For what the game tries to be, which is a fun action adventure romp, it just is so fun. Just like of all the characters are good, we really had a good time. I simply have to applaud the developers for how the game starts in the morning and then at the end of the game it's sunset. As you're going across all the levels, the time is changing. I just really like that detail they put in there. The game contains a mix of third-person cover-based shooting, climbing, and the occasional puzzle thrown in there. I really can't complain here, but I will, because I do have a few issues. First of all, I do not like how they have the treasures. And while I'm talking about treasures, I mean how they have like the hidden things around the levels that you want to find so you can unlock some sort of bonus. The bonuses don't give you any advantage in the gameplay at all, but they're usually just fun little things. The problem is that the treasures, when you're looking for them, you're just scouring back and forth around the level, not progressing, and you're not even focusing on the actual game. And it really messes with the pacing for me. So if you're playing the game, do not look for the treasures until you beat it the first time. I also take issue in the climbing. Because what will happen is you'll jump on things thinking, oh, Nathan Drake can climb that. But nope, he can't reach that ledge. He's either really picky, or the developers could have been a bit more careful where they put ledges that you're not able to climb on. 
Also, the final boss is bullshit. You'll, you'll realize when you try shooting at him. So what do I think of it? Well, it really feels like a classic. Which makes sense, because it came out about 10 years ago. I can't stress how classical this game feels. It definitely is a classic. However, it doesn't feel like a super groundbreaking, amazing masterpiece of a game. But I will call it a classic. So I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. I definitely would advise if you have a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 if you want to play with shitty graphics. I definitely would advise you buy it. I am going to put it on the top games list as the greatest game of all time. Yes, it's better than Sonic the Hedgehog. I think there's not really any competition between the two. Next episode, I will be reviewing Dishonored. Will I be really stealthy and sneaky? Find out on the next episode of... The Crusade for the Best Video Game Ever Made.